Hello, I thought I'd do a live today. A few people have said that I don't do enough videos of myself showing my work, so here I am. I I have to admit it makes me very nervous doing videos for social media, but um, here I am giving it a go. So what I thought I'd share with you today is one of the first sticks that I ever painted and this came about that my partner wanted a new walking stick, um, a thumb stick so we could go out in the field with the dogs and he was looking around and I love arts and crafts and anything I can make or have a go at so I sent myself a challenge and here I am today, never look back. So this is the first stick and as you can see it's top heavy although it's a good stick and he uses it and he still loves it it's slightly top heavy for the shaft it could have done with either a thicker shaft or a smaller top but hey this is how we learn and develop and um, it's part of the process so you can see my paintings on there they're quite not quite different but slightly different from my style now my styles developed over time so we've got my beautiful pointers there Lily and Tyler and that's the first stick I painted and this is the second one so the shaft and the tops a bit more in keeping with each other and you can see how, how my style even there has developed so we've got willow grouse a big love of ours grouse and um, bred them for many years we've got ptarmigan which the ptarmigan's white on here which they go white in the winter they change color in the winter so they camouflaged in the snow and then red grouse I do paint quite a lot of grouse, you may notice if you look at my page. And that was the second stick. The reason why I paint wildlife is I'm a big lover of the countryside. And although I do paint other subjects, I've painted trains, portraits, all kind of subjects on the sticks. If I pick up a, a stick and start to paint, it will be usually an animal, wildlife, dog, that sort of thing I tend to be drawn to. I'll just show you a stick that I'm in the middle of doing at the moment. I'll, that'll be finished soon and then the varnishing process takes quite a long time but once that's finished I'll be able to pop that up on my website and on social media for you. And this is um, a stick that I'm in the middle of the doing at the moment. And I'm going to be doing a few of these. Um, they're called a, a knobball walking stick. I've uh, done the squirrel. It's quite hard to get them straight because we've got a round ball and that's not um, perfect. So we've got the little squirrel there. And you can see I've just started doing the sky and I'll work my way around and just see how that develops. So we sat on the stone which is great because the bottom of the stick's round so the stone is um, perfect and then we've got a bit of natural wood there comes up the side and I've just added a little branch on there and that looks really sweet I think. So I'm working on that very slowly because if you look at my page I've got a little puppy and he um, likes to sit on my knee when I'm working. One of the reasons why I love painting the sticks is not only do I get pleasure out of it but it's wonderful when I hand the stick to somebody or post it out to them and then they come back to me and to know that they get so much joy from 
looking at the stick. Some people use it as an ornament for the house, um, just in a nice stick stand in the hall. And some people actually use them because they are a practical item that can be used. And whether they're used for purely an artistic piece or to be used practically and to be able to look at it as well while they're out and about. It's, it's, it's just a lovely feeling that somebody gets so much pleasure from that and there's so many horrible things in the world at the moment. It's nice to be able to spread a little bit of joy in the form of art. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will make an effort. I can't say I'll be doing it every week, but I will make more of an effort to do some live videos for you. Have a great day and thank you for watching.